So I've been around the garden this morning and I've had a little harvest. And I'm really loving my little holy chard. <laughs> Baby chard. I never get it to grow to full size because one, I like it young and two, the slugs like it. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Good morning guys, how are we doing? Today is the 26th of July. It's a little bit later in the morning than I normally am. But I had a very late night. Which means I had a very late morning. <laughs> and I was looking at my chard and I was thinking, I was reminded of um, a friend's children who, when she first started gardening, started turning their noses up at the food. It had holes in it. I was like, okay. Whereas when I had foster kids, you could tell the kids who'd actually had a garden in their garden, whether it was necessary or not, they had a garden and they were used to food that had bits out of it that didn't look so perfect. And they were happy to eat whatever came out of the garden. In fact, the kids who were used to not eating were the first ones to go for the food that had holes in it. I think we need to have a change of mentality and have something growing in the garden at all times. Something. It doesn't matter what, but something. Do you know you can grow spinach on your kitchen window? If you've got a kitchen window, we haven't got a kitchen window really. A postage stamp. But yeah, you can. You can grow spinach there, you can grow chard there. You know, as well as your herbs, if you've got a decent kitchen window. <laughs> Which we don't. We have a postage stamp. I'll show you. Hang on. That there is our kitchen window. It's the same size as our bathroom window. Which is also a postage stamp. <sighs> Which is why I have the, the light on in my videos in the kitchen all the time. Kids who turn their noses up at food that isn't perfect. Or raw food that isn't perfect that's come straight out of their garden. Are the ones who have lived on supermarket perfection their entire lives and they don't understand where the food comes from but we need to start showing them where the food comes from so that they won't the less for kids who have a garden are less fussy eaters did you know that because they actually understand where the food comes from even autistic kids who have a garden are less fussy eaters. If they can see where it grows, where they get to understand where it grows, where it comes from, they will be less fussy eaters. You'll probably find the majority of them want to be vegetarian if you start taking them to farms and stuff, but, you know, it's their choice. If they're understanding of where their food comes from and they don't want that, We are not the people to force it on them. But yeah, we have to start teaching our kids from a very young age where their food comes from. Some schools now have a garden program. Not a very big one because schools over here tend to have tarmac <clears throat> as a school playground, which as someone who had tarmac as their school playground, can I just say is very hard on the knees does not make you want to run around and play because if you fall you end up with grazes from head to toe which take weeks to heal so you know it, you don't want that <laughs> trust me but there are a lot of schools who are changing that up which is really kind of cool and they're starting to put in gardens and they're teaching the kids this is where your food comes from this is what it looks like I've only, I've only picked these two really, really young. I could have left them a few more days. I chose not to. 
my choice my choice but I wanted to have a little green one to go in what I'm making later on today for my dinner for the next three or four days <laughs> And I've got the last of this first harvest of the raspberries. Now the golden raspberries, they harvest twice. I get another harvest in around September. End of August, early September. It's kind of cool. So yeah. One day you'll get that place in the country, one day you'll get that place in the country, you'll get that place in the country. Just keep visualizing your place in the country where there are no other people, there's nothing but you and the land. <sighs> okay. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go. Start teaching your kids. It's the height of... Um, privilege to choose to have perfect food your kids don't understand where it comes from they're not going to want to eat it and they don't understand that half the crop gets lost so they can have perfection they're not going to want to let that go <laughs> trust me especially if they think that's all they're eating for the year Anyway guys, I'm gonna go. I love you guys heaps. The shouting has begun. And breathe. Blessings.